Good morning guys, and welcome back to today's video. Today, we're doing Operation Transplant. Now I gotta see if I'm right. Four, about 22. Did you get 22? I didn't count. 24, people. I was wrong. Somebody wants to throw one for the dog, for the chickens. Okay, ready? Ooh. It's in the bags. Chickens love to eat their own eggs. Can we get for another one since there's a small one? Sure. We have too many eggs, so don't. We have a lot of eggs. So I can get yeah, them. Eat some. I eat eggs every day. Oh it's no. It's a bouncy ball. And Kirby's got oh it. Now. <laughs> oh no, it. Kirby, bring that egg back. What the heck? That's a strong one. Not only do the chickens, Ellie, Ellie, don't eat raw eggs. Actually, raw eggs are good for dogs. They're good for chickens. <laughs> you can't crack it. Those little ones will not crack. There we go. Molly, oh, look how big our turkeys are. Holy moly, they used to be smaller than Ellie, now they're huge. It is a glorious day, you guys. <laughs> Every day we look over to see which horse wants us today. Can you guys see? There's a horse. Oh, she's leaving. She was staring us down. Also lots of stalkers. Go back. We don't want you. Go away. So we've thought long and hard over this decision. Okay, only I have. I lost sleep I thinking about this. <sighs> so here's the dilemma. What? If my cat was going to eat her, he would have already eaten her. Why does Kirby have an eggshell? But... Your cat could eat the baby chickens. So, so we have a chicken that went broody and yesterday or the day before, a couple of baby chicks hatched. And it was beautiful and it was amazing. She hatched them in a not very good spot. They can't get down to drink. They can't get down to eat. <laughs> yeah, it's all frisky. He's like, I'm coming. <laughs> And his tail is spinning, oh wow! Look at his tail spins in a circle. That's actually cool. See, I always thought, po I always thought pigs had curly tails. But ours don't, but when he swings his, it swings in a circle. Oh, big guy! What is it? Are you excited? He's always excited to see you guys. Everybody got fresh water this morning, but already his is dirty. So uh, this is where she laid her oh, egg. I know. I came down to, let's see, can you guys see? She, this is where she, she had laid her nest and this is where she hatched her babies. And they're doing so cute. It's this morning I saw her being the best mom, teaching them to eat and she's lovely. So what's the dilemma, Sophie? You don't want them to be in the bar. I don't want them to be in the bar because it's not as safe. Same thing. Yeah, you have a cat. It's not just cats, it's almost fall, and we do have raccoons. Like, that's our biggest predator. Sometimes, occasionally, like birds of prey, but mostly raccoons. They can get down in this barn. And I don't want them to be eaten because they're so cute, and I don't want to take her babies away. I could take them away, put them someplace else with our other hatch chicks that don't have a mom, but I don't want to take that away from her either. So the dilemma is, she doesn't like to be at the in the chicken coop. She likes to be down in this barn. She associates as a, as a goat. She likes the pigs. She likes the goats. She identifies as a goat. She identifies as a goat. So that's the question. Should we make her be a chicken? Or should we let her be a goat? That's the age old question, you guys. Let her be Who a goat. knew that that was gonna happen to us? What do you think we should do? Let her be what she wants to be. Well, what if she wants to be a cat? It's like all the furries in school. All right, so Gabby, do we let her be a goat or do we make her be a, a chicken? I don't care. <laughs> it was but like, oh, I'm not getting in on this dilemma. Yeah. She's safe in the stall with the goats. They're not gonna Why attack the goats. Okay, she's safe in the stall with the goats. I agree with that, but. When have the raccoons ever attacked goats? Never. Right, but she can't, she can't stay in here because she can't, we can't hang water in here anywhere. Otherwise, we're just gonna have a mess. Chicken poop all over the, the goat's food. It's just gonna be a mess. So we thought of two possible things. This morning, I brought this down and kind of set it up. And Sam was gonna make me a lid for it and then she could go in here. But again, there's no pig or no goats to keep her safe. So then she'd just be a sitting duck in this thing and raccoons could still get her. So then Sam and I talked right, about it. Leave the chicks. 
I'm holding babies. So then Sam and I talked about it and we decided the safest place for her is to be a chicken. So we're gonna put her in our chicken brooder. So she'll be in the chicken coop, but she will be safe. So today we're gonna transport all of these babies in the mama to a new home, she's new temporary so home. Is she? Oh. Yeah, she's a little upset. She's a good mama. She's still sitting on eggs. Okay, I'm too. sorry to do this to you, but you're a chicken. Once your babies are raised, you can lay Right. Here, Sophie, Gabby, you gotta carry these eggs. She's carrying oh, the, the gates on her. They're gonna be in a bag, buried in food. Here we go. Oh, she's gonna hate it. She's gonna hate it, but she's gonna be alive. What do you guys think is better? Hating your life or being alive? She's, she's lived a long time down here. I think she's good. We're hoping that she continues to lay in her eggs. I'm gonna go get a waterer and bring it out here. But look at how cute. I love that she's showing her babies what to do. I hope that she's happy in here. I hope she doesn't feel stressed. So the, the issue is, is that she's lived all spring and all summer as a goat and it's been okay because it's feeding season on the uh, out in the wild. So the raccoons haven't been coming into the barn trying to get to our animals. But now that we're coming into fall and winter, it's going to be open season for chickens. So, it's important that she be safe and that her babies be safe. So, we're not going to force her to be a chicken if she wants to be a goat. She might bring her babies back down there once they're... Yeah, she can go back down there when it's spring. But for now, her and her babies are going to be safe. <laughs> they're so cute. I wish we could sneak the other babies out. We probably could. So there are her remaining eggs. Should build up a little nest here for her. Oh. There are your eggs, Mama. Sometimes stress like this will make them stop laying, and if she does, that's okay. <laughs> we can put them in the incubator. <laughs> Look at them. Which one do you like the best? Mm, the first one. Yeah, I do too, but I love that one. Looks like Chipmunk. That's his name, Chipmunk. Anyways, we're going to leave her. I'm going to go get some water, but we're going to leave her. Let her get used to this. She can roost. She can teach the babies to roost as they get a little bit bigger. But this is for now. This is our brooder, our outside brooder. We're going to be able to hang like a heat lamp. Actually, we have like one that they go under. We're going to be able to overwinter chickens, baby chicks out here. So hopefully this is a good compromise. And we don't make her compromise her values and her principles and how she feels about herself. I know a lot of people won't believe me, believe in this or support this, but if you want to be a goat, if you want to live like a goat, then just live like a goat. Who am I to tell you that you're a chicken if you think you're a goat? Today we're saying goodbye to the garden. When we were younger, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers We just let the days pass by oh, I can't believe that this ended so fast. It just felt like it went the fastest growing season ever. Wow. That looks so good. So as some of you guys know, what is that? So as some of you guys might know, we planted a ton of raspberries for next year. What is it? 
Um, and say I'm gonna drag this all up and what I'm gonna do this fall. Wow, it looks good. Look how rich this soil is. Oh, it's a plant. <laughs> it's a cucumber plant. This fall, I plan to put all of our leaves in here and it will help keep all the weeds from growing back and it will also give lots of nutrients to the garden. And then next year's garden will be a superior, will be my best one yet. It'll be all ready for planting in the spring. This year, I'm gonna start the garden a little earlier. I just wanna check on Posy Pig, make sure she's okay, because I'm sure she's up here. Hi, honey. It's hot out today, isn't it? Hi, Pan, you wanna go for her do something? School starts in three more days. It is literally the last few days of summer. It's the time where we start all of our fall routines and I love fall. So today I just wanted to do a little bit of stuff with my horse. We're trying to decide what we want to do with our horses and literally I missed it. They were all standing there staring at us. Every single one of them, they were just like ears perked forward. Yep. If I go to a fair show, I'd want to bring Lady too. Yeah, we can't go anywhere without Lady. But you couldn't do showmanship with Lady. She's not even close to being prepared for that. Do you want to work on some of that with her? No. Storm wins that. Yeah, Storm is our showmanship boy for sure. And just like that, she found me. Hi, Posy Pig. <laughs> you are just so cute. She just makes me happy. So today I posted a video and I was thinking like, I wonder if she could be pregnant. I'm sure she's not pregnant. The other day when we were giving her her injections, her antibiotics, I was like, her teats look a little bit different to me. So they have like a little bit of breast tissue under them, which I'm sure happens when pigs become mature. So, I mean, it happens, I don't, I don't know. Like, so her and the other pig have never been a, a, been together. Not ever, not ever. Let's see if I can show you. So there's no way that they could breed. And I was wondering like, do you think they could breed under a fence? But I don't know. It was kind of lumpy. I mean, you can barely see it. Do you see how there's like a little bit more tissue? But maybe it's just her fat. It's probably just her fat. Um, and things are still looking a bit swollen in the back end. But I learned a trick. This little thing here, if it's supposed to face down and if a, and if a pig is pregnant, it will turn around and face up. So I don't know at what stage that's supposed to happen, but as far as I can tell, Posey Pig is not pregnant and she's not overweight. She's a pot belly pig, so she's meant to have this concentration of fat in her belly area. Maybe I was meant to be a pig too. So I've come to the conclusion that she's definitely not pregnant. It just, it was, I just, it was a passing thought when I saw her teats that they looked like they had grown just a tiny bit, but now, even looking at them now, they definitely don't look like they've, they've grown at all. You look actually so cute in that outfit. Pink is so cute on you. Pink and black. All right, are we ready to roll? So, yeah. I found a little clip for my tripod, but now I've lost the tripod. Oh, I feel sad for Posey. I wish you were a horse, Posey. Could you imagine Posey in a horse form? She'd just be the most cute, most willing little horse. I'll be back for you, Penny Pickle. She's, she's sad that she's not going. So the trainer challenged both girls. So Sophie was challenged to teach her horse to be quiet on the trail. Has it happened? We're working on it. It's a work in progress. It's not going on a trail. Stop scratching your butt on the fence. And did you want me to leg you up? Yeah. I suck at it. I need help too. All right. Gabby was challenged with being sweet to Storm. No. <laughs> she was charged with teaching Storm that she's not going to ask him to work. That she's going to be relaxed on him and that she's going to be gentle and she's not going to ask him to do anything he doesn't want to do. And we're going to have a few rides like this. So <laughs> there's an idea that maybe the reason that Storm is so picky with Gabby is that he knows Gabby's gonna push him Give me your lead drop, I'll drag you. and make him oh, work. <laughs> I only have one thing to hold on to. You gotta make him walk you though. Don't even have mates. I don't. Look I don't. at that girl, so brave up there on her giant steed. No. She's like, what are we doing? 
So those were the two things. Our <laughs> no, don't think like that. Don't tell the mini Manifest. Don't yeah. tell the mini <laughs> Is the mini doing anything wrong? She's pushing she rubbing against it. Now. And I will be charged with making sure that the mini doesn't spook any horses. Stop eating the grass. You're just walking, dude. See, look how comfy that is. You're just, that's all you're doing today. So, the idea is that Storm knows that Gabby wants to work all the time. And Gabby knows the Storm doesn't want to work and they clash. And it's just been really bad for their riding relationship this past summer. Oh my goodness. Difference in horses. Storm, who just wants to sit and eat. Lady, who's just like, let's go. Let's do whatever you want. Don't jump. Don't jump. Uh, I feel like Gabby's not set up well because she doesn't have... I don't have control. She hates all her. So this may seem like nothing, but for this team, it's really important. Look at paparazzi. <laughs> a big three horses. Wait, where's the other horse? Where's Honey? Oh, they're there. One, two, three, four, and a pig. All right, it's going. It's going good. People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves and get a job we didn't care what we were told cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go damn i don't want to grow old i wish i could turn back time it is windy let us close this gate He's loving this, Gabby. He could go on a trail like this. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed. We were free. Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control. Sophie just offered me to ride her horse bareback. You'll lead me? Yeah. I don't want to. I wouldn't trust you steering. It's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> Your only chance to ride her. I'm what? tempted. When they found out we ran from home just to scare them, we were free. When we were 17. Try to stay in touch But we had to move on Life ran away from us If I could go back Be 17 again Yeah, I would Just to see all my friends Running around the city acting crazy But remember, that's good. Don't force them. Why would she do? She's bouncy. You should try her on. No, I'm good. Why? She's feisty now. Spunky now. Does she look spunky? No. Yeah. She does not. Yeah, Storm does. If you go like that, he'll put his head down. Her mane is really growing. Like she has a mohawk now. She loves her mama. Look at my girl. She's just laying there waiting for me. Both of them. Well, hello there, goats. I really wanted to do work with my girl today. Like, really wanted to, but then I wanted to watch them because I enjoy watching them. Tomorrow is going to be a penny day because she really wanted to work today. Come here, pen. Fight. I brought you a carrot anyways. Tomorrow is your day. I'll get up early and it'll be you and me and it won't be as windy. Okay? I promise you. Uh-oh. Here comes everybody else. They're like, I see it. I see you giving everybody stuff. Poor Gracie. I'm coming, Gracie.
Wait, storm, get. Gracie knows the drill. She's like, come on, I'll go fast, go fast, fast. I love today, I love the weather. It's hot out, but it's not super hot and humid because of the breeze. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, I just love you so much. <laughs> Would you let me do your nails? Let's see. Could I cut them now? I bet you she'd let me now. Yeah. I love you. You're my precious baby. Covered in mud because you were drinking water. But she's so sweet. I'm sorry for all the piggy footage. See? I don't know if you guys can see. There's just a tiny bit of like tissue underneath the teat and it's probably just lumps of fat that I'm seeing but I'm always on the lookout yeah you're my sweet girl no babies for you not for now anyway it's not going into winter oops oops I love you sweet girl now that we're about to start school again I asked Sophie if she wanted to continue driving in through the winter or let lady have time off in the winter and she said that she wants to drive in for lessons. We still are signed up with our barn and just confirmed that we would continue with the winter lessons. So she wants to do it and I'm excited. I miss having lessons at the barn. I can't wait. So we're definitely gonna continue with winter lessons. Don't you know that you're beautiful?